Hari wa Kristo. There are some of the Christians bafite Yesu. Who have Jesus who have Jesus wo kwa gatano. Of Friday. Bamubambye ku musaraba. Being crucified on the cross. Yikoreye ibyaha bya. Carrying away our sins. Ariko nge nkunda Yesu wo kwa mbere wazutse. But for me I love Jesus who is the reason on Monday. Uko nge ndana nawe. I walk with him. Uzo musaruro nkuramo. Do you know musaruro wa mbere? Do you know the result that I got from there? Bindinda gukora ibyaha. It sustains me from sinning. Sometimes I ask Christians. You take your step to go. You make your step to go. And you make a step to go and fornicate, do fornication. And yet you are together with the Lord who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. These young people. Have Jesus. They don't, they don't know Jesus. There are some kind of teachings I have heard that are gracious. Or those who are in an amazing grace. Those who are in amazing grace uh, that they can commit sins because they were forgiven. I know because I have spoken in a wrong way about sinning and nobody can stand here. But let me ask anyone who is a gracious person. Apart from even Jesus Christ who is the child of God, even your father. Once he forbid you not to go into teams or group of, groups of people, can you be confident to commit a sin when your father is seeing you? Is there anybody to answer me? Because most of those kind of teachings are not in the elderly people. Reason why I'm focusing on the youth. They are the gracious people. They have been forgiven. They have been justified. They can commit sin anyhow. Because it has been forgiven. You have you never know about your Lord. You don't know Jesus Christ who, who commits sin. Because he said, I hate sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank for today. Uh, Let me first thank the leadership of UPCM. Mostly Bishop Aaron, because he's the one who invited me to come and attend the conference. Because we met in America, then he told him to come and meet him here in Nairobi so that he may host a conference. Then God accepted then it was possible. I have brought you the, from my family. I have brought you the greetings from my family. You put your hand together. I always go all over the world and say I have brought you the greetings from my church. But because I have gone into the retirement, I you have to say that I have brought you the greetings from my family only. So I thank God. I also thank you very much for the great love you have and also the hospitality. May God bless you. Let's pray. Let me also pray for my interpreter who is going to help me. So that's not easy. I too, I do it and it is very powerful. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Our Lord Jesus Christ. You've given us the promise that when the Holy Spirit will come, will give us power. Help our interpreter. 
Give him the power of hearing so that he may hear and see the word which is true. And all of us, all the Holy Spirit, come and do your work in this gathering. Let your cloud come and cover everyone. Let no one slumber. Let no one be distracted. Touch and each every's heart in his water. So that you may speak to what is concerning him. Let your name, our Lord Jesus Christ, be highly exalted. Let your kingdom come. Let your people be rejoiced. Uh, appear in this let you be lifted up. You said when you will be lifted up, you will call upon everyone. Touch and each everyone's heart so that you may speak to him whatever concerning him and what you want from him and everyone who is here so that today we will be changed by you. We thank you God. We give glory. We uplift you. Now we we put you in this place. Come and reign in this place. Let the power of the, the devil. Now we scatter them. The one who was weak in his body. Let the strength come. The one who was sick. Let your word come and give them covering. The one who was desperate, give him hope. Let your power come and do. Walk in our midst, Lord. Do what you used to do. Let your people be blessed. And we glorify your name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We are going uh, in the same spirit, in the same word in the book of James. Where they speak about works and also believe. Uh, James chapter 2 verse 14. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claim to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Let me just stop from here. Uh, there is a, a man who says that he has faith. But he has no deeds. This is the great issue that we have in our Christianity. Most of the people claim. But few put in works. From here where I stand. Most of the pastors we speak. We speak. We speak. And we also speak good. But we, we, we put into practice few or little things. But in, even if a bishop spoke about it, if I can talk or I can speak without deeds, mostly when I speak what I don't do, and the people can see that what I'm speaking, I can't do it. Then after my departure, then they will be complain and say, why is he telling us to do this, and yet him, he doesn't do it. Let me tell you something great. I am also a servant. When you tell your, your members of the church what you don't do, God does not tick and say yes. You will never walk into blessings when you speak what you don't put into practice. If you go and examine in your Bibles, you will find that most of the people, they speak only words, but they forgot the instruction of God. Let me give you an example of the word that we use wrongly. Have you heard the people saying that God says, I will bless you. 
You will be a head, not a tail. You will borrow. You will borrow nations that will never lend from you. I will bless whatever you do. Have you ever heard such kind of teachings? Uh, those teachings are not complete. Before God tells you that I will bless you, you have to come back and look at into this one. He asks you first, if you are courageous, if you are zealous, if you are zealous, if you are if you are zealous of what you have. If you are zealous of following my laws and my instructions. These blessings will follow you. Will come after you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is another way the Lord Jesus Christ said. If somebody claims that he loves me. If somebody says that he loves me. Let him obey my instructions. What happens when you follow the instruction of God? There comes deeds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he said, If somebody follows my instruction, then my father will love him. I too will love him. We will come to where he is. We will dwell with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Instead of blessing me, the honor of the blessings has to come and dwell together with me. Mostly we look for the blessings. Instead of looking for the honor of the blessings, I, I, you can at least buy for me oranges. Rather than buy me oranges. Rather, Instead of buying for me an oranges, you can plant the tree for oranges. Once the oranges are ready, I'll be having my own oranges. If it is possible, I shall even sell to others. Instead of God to bless you, I can do what can make God to come and dwell with me. And God told you how it is done. He says, if someone obeys my instruction, my father will love him. And I too will love him. We shall come at his home, then we shall make our dwelling there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it would be possible for you to get this one. Mostly we teach Christians. We tell them things. Which is half. Which is not complete. Bishop talked about tithe. Let me give you some other examples. How we teach it Most of the pastors when they teach about giving tithe. They say give tithe. I say no. First tell me the blessings which is into paying tithe. When I was young. Let me look at the young people. Just wave. You just wave your hands guys. Those who have 25 and above. Those who have below 25 and below. At 25 and above. It's when I was I, I was saved. I get I got saved at 25 years old. When I was 25 years old, then I got saved. I was a member of a Catholic church. Then to the Catholic churches, there is no tithe. By some some kind of pastors, or oh, the people of the the Catholic, some, some, some priests. Some priests, yes. They, yeah. they teach about your tithe. Uh, then I was renting a house somewhere. Then my landlord did a favor. He, got, he favored me. Every end of the month, he would come and knock on my window. Then he knock on my window. Around 6 in the morning. Rutaisiri, rutaisiri. I called me Rutaisiri by my name. Karami. Then I say, yes. I have come to tell you. I, I, I have come to tell you that after tomorrow, it will be end of the month. 
Let me found my money ready. You have it. Then I say, I have never missed to pay this man. Why does he used to come and remind me to pay him, to be ready to pay him? Then I started praying for my household. But God said, because this man wants a house, let me now make, give him a zeal. In those days, I got a job. Then I worked, then I got money. They paid me 50k. They paid me 50k. Uh, 50k, it is the, the biggest uh, note in Rwanda. 5,000, I mean, it is the biggest note. Then note. I put it in my pocket. Then I passed it by a certain church of other people when they were praying. I found them singing. Then I said, let me go in so that I may to the I was a Catholic member. But I was saved. Then I got in. Then I sat down. They, they continued singing, singing the choir. Then the choir master stood up. He said, the brethren, this concert was for the fundraising. We want you just to give out your money so that you can get money in order to buy instruments so that we can go for the evangelism. Then when I tried to touch in my pocket, I found my, the big note of 5K, 5K, 5K. And I made, I said in, inside, I made in mind that it is not. Once I quit this concert, tomorrow in the morning I'll go to the bank. Then I'll deposit my money. 50K. The journey of buying a house, owning a house. When I touched in my pocket, I only found I have the transport to take me back to school. And also with the 50k. Then I started thinking myself uh, to take me to where I teach. We used to pay 300. Uh, three notes of 100, 100, 100. And also, and also 10 notes of 5k is what I was having. Those 10 notes of 5k is to take to the bank to deposit. The three notes of 100 is my transport to take me back to school. Where I teach. Then they had an a box, offering box. Uh, they, use, they carry it coming with it. Then in my, side, in my heart, inside my belly, I started feeling it warm. Then I touched my pocket. Then I look uh, the note of 5K that I was having. Then I put it back in my pocket. Then I removed the, the note of 100. Then I remember in mind, once I paid this 100, I will never get a transport to take me back to school. Then I try to go and give. I bring back my hand. And when they brought the box, the offering box to me, I decided to drop 100. Then I said, this 5K not, I shall go and make a change. But I will not give it out. And I want to own a house. After giving 100, I received the voice from the Lord. You person, how you withhold your money? You are poor. I have given you 50k. On top of the salary that you earn end of the month. Then you can never be able even to release even 5k for the work of the Lord. Uh, this offering box has already gone beyond me. It is already just back there. Then I looked at it. And I said, may I follow it? 
Then I said to God, forgive me. Whatever you are forgiving me, I so many, and forgive me this too. But that day, my, my, my life has been changed. Because from there, I went and asked God, give me the knowledge to understand how God, you work with money. Then God said, gold and silver belongs to me. If you don't give out your tithe and offering, you will hold with my things. But once you honor me with tithe and offering, I will open up the streams of heaven. Then I say, God, thank you to teach me this. From now on, every money that will pass through my heart, I shall give out your tithe. Then I always also teach my, my, the members of the church. Do not give your offering without speaking some words on it. Because your offering has the promise. Just speak to it. Took your note. Take, you have to take your note. Once you found it is 1k, 1,000 shillings. Speak to it and say, if God, you have, you have given me this 1,000 one notes, I'm giving it to you. Because you are the one who gives them to me. You. But remember me. Then you put it back in your pocket. Because he said, if you honor me with your money, I will open up the gates of heaven. It's not just to bargain to make the bargaining God. But God wants people, the cheerful giver. I want to relate it with the one who uh, Once you speak, you will say that you have faith. But you have no deeds. Then your faith can it save you? Let me tell you the reason. And nowadays, let's come back to the basic uh, teachings. Today, I want to tell you that you can work with your money. You can work Today, I want to tell you that you can't work without being born. You cannot be able to do works without being born. Because most of the people, we see them sitting in the church. Then we say, once they're in the church, they are the children of God. Some of them are in the church. They have been born and found their relatives are in the church. Uh, coming to church, it is their custom. But they have never come back and be born again. Let me tell you, pastors. That is how you are wrong. You can see people sitting in the church. Then you say, because they are seated in the church, they are the children of God. They are Christians. Being a Christian, and because of how we did it, once you have been baptized, they write you in the book of the church. You are a member of the church. You are but let me ask you. You can be written the names of those who are on earth. And yet in heaven they have not written. You can be written here on earth. But in heaven you are not there. Hello. Hello. Are you following me? That is how the things are being spoiled. I've been a Christian too for so long. I even learned in the seminaries. When I was young, I used to say I would be a priest. When I was 19 years old, I even went and learned from there. I did not become a priest. I went to university when I was a Christian. When I get to the university, I found it is another kind of life which is 
independent. You can go and have fun. You can have fun and then on Sunday you can go to, to, the, to the church. Then on Saturday you can go to the prostitute. Then on Sunday you can go back to church. The people who can see you walking. They say that we used to see him in the church. No, no He's a Christian. I even go and learn in the seminar. He's a good Christian. He sings songs. But in heaven they wonder. For us we don't know this God. On earth they recognize you. But in heaven they don't recognize you. The reason why people don't do the deeds in the church. Because in heaven they don't know them. They have never been born again. You can see children walking around in your household. Are coming to visit their friends. But when time comes to work the work of the, of the, whole, of the house, the children, those who are visitors, can go back. That's how it is. Can you tell the neighbor's children to come and wash the dishes of your home? Have you ever told the neighbor to come and wash or clean your house? Most of the people come to church as the neighbors. When you tell him to do or to work, they say no. There are some people who are like a certain bird. Uh, this bird is referring to this bird. It's a bird which is somehow funny. Uh, all can fly like a bird. But all it, even, it can be pregnant. It can be pregnant and give birth. Uh, those kind of oil, they, they give birth. It's birds and it's also animals. One day, animals were trying to dig a well. Those, those animals that give the birth and they also feed their, on their breast. Also, also, all also the, it gives birth and also breastfeed the kids. Do you not know all can breastfeed the child? It can breastfeed the child like any other animal. It went among those animals that breastfeed. That the mammals, they call them mammals. It went there. They made a council of how they will dig a well. Then it was listening. Then he says, this kind of stuff of digging a well is very tired. It gives its mind. Then it says, brethren, I am one of you. I can be pregnant and give birth and breastfeed. But I am in a class of birds. Allow me to go back to the flying birds. It went back to the flying birds. They, it found also the animals, I mean the birds also have made a council to dig the well. Then it was listening. It gives its mind. What I have run away from there is what I have found here where I have run to. Let me say, brethren, listen to me. You know, even if I fly uh, like you, but I don't lie eggs. I can be pregnant. Then I give birth. 
Then I breastfeed. I am going back to the mammals on in my car. But it did not go back where it came from and it did not remain here. Then it was neutral. That's there. The reason why you found it like this in the middle. It's not seated like a bird and it is not like an animal. There are people who are like that. When you speak about singing, mostly in the youth, they are there. They are there. No, forget When you speak about uh, celebrating here, they are the first one to dance. When you tell them to touch in their pockets, then they say you found now the, co the crocodile is there. Who can sing about tendency? I got tin you, you found them neutral. They are not there or there. Do you know where it is now? It has been spoiled. Identity. Identity. What you are. If you have never known your identity, let me tell you. Identity. The identity. When you are here, the identity that you have does not make you to be Kenyan. If you want to campaign to be a mayor, it can't work. Because your identity. The issue of identity in Christianity is where things go wrong. When John the Baptist started teaching, his first teachings comes in also deeds. He said those who have two clothes give those who don't have. Those who have food give to those who lack food. Then the soldiers said, what can we do? Do not go into groups of people there wondering. And the tax collector said, do not withhold what, with what they sent you. Those are deeds. But before teaching about the deeds, the first word coming out of his mouth, Matthew chapter 3, verse 2, he said, repent. For the, for the kingdom of heaven is very near. Repent. The Bible, the word repent, we have taught you wrongly. The word repenting or to repent. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the Greek word is metanoia. Uh, which means I was heading this direction. Let me turn around and look this way. Which means it's a changing of the mind, of renewing of the mind. I have renewed my mind. I have renewed my speeches. I have renewed my actions. I have renewed my livelihood. I have, re I have renewed my living. That is a new creation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the great things. Have you ever been changed? There are some young children that who have been talking, making a conversation. Uh, there were young people. They claimed and say we've been born in a family of believers. We grew up as a believer. Then the people ask you, when have you got saved? The problem is not when you got saved. The issue is living a life which looks like of what the Bible says. Because John the Baptist when he was teaching, he said, turn around. When Jesus Christ started teaching, he said, turn around, repent. When Peter started his ministry, he said, repent. Even Paul, they, they made a, a statement saying, repent. Repent, turn around. 
Let us be chained heading to where? For the kingdom of God is very near. In another word, we have been walking as the people of the world. Wherever you can start from, if you can testify of yourself and say whatever is written in this word, I accept it the way it has been spoken. I act it the way it has been spoken. Because this book, this book, it is the constitution of the kingdom of God. This, this is the word of the owner of the kingdom of heaven. Reason why the Lord Jesus Christ said this word. The word will vanish. But you know any comma will vanish from this word. Because this is the word of the owner. Something which goes wrong to people. Uh, we are familiar with democracy and also countries. Where you found the people demonstrating, insulting the president, making fun of the government. Those are the things of democracy country. But in the kingdom, once a king gives an order, then you add your word. He will say, let them put you into prison so that you can change your mind. Nobody can, can change the word of the king. And this Bible is not built on democracy. John the Baptist, when he was teaching, he said, The kingdom of God is very near. When Jesus Christ was teaching, he said, The kingdom of God is in the midst. Which means already the Lord is in the midst. The kingdom is already here. After being aware of this, it is very easy. We are, the, we are the citizens of the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said to the disciples, You are in the world, but you are not belong to the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am in the world, but I don't belong to this world. Most of you, you are in Kenya, but you don't belong to Kenya. You can... Get it well. You are strangers and foreigners. That is how the Bible says. We are alien and strangers. Hallelujah. Amen. Reason why our Lord does what he instructed us to do. This word is full of things that the laws and his reign and the one who wants to please him you should obey him. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you don't obey the owner of that kingdom that's what you don't do. That's also what you can't be given. I know there's what they ask, they demand from Kenyans, they don't demand from you. But the people of the world are not the same way. They can ask you to do like others. But when they go to the right, they can never give you the right the way you deserve. Because they can ask you, you, you do business here? You can give us the tax. I can give tax like the citizen. I can, I can also give money for the cleanliness of the country. Here you don't, we, we don't give. But we give what we call for the tax. But when comes the time of a campaign, they don't allow you to campaign for a certain position. I don't know whether you can be allowed to vote. No, we are not. You we are can. not. <laughs> we are not allowed. 
we can share into difficulties but we don't share into blessings but in this kingdom uh, we are the citizen of the kingdom of heaven uh, that passes this here on earth reason why the bible asks us you can see things going wrong but God can say you just to perceive perseverance your time will come there is one child who spoke to another one he was boasting from his brother and said can you see the hill or the mountain there across there can you see the nice house there? Then he said, that house belongs to my father. Then your father is very rich. Can you see the car which is down there? That car belongs to my father. Can you see the farm which is just down there? Belongs to my father. Then another one looked at him too. Can you see the hollow mountain where your house is built on? It belongs to my father. And also the mountain behind on the back side. It belongs to my father. And also the other one on the other side. It belongs to my father. Then the other one looked it down and said, Why can I look? You don't dress smart. Do you know why you have dressed well? You've come from your father's home. But for me, I'm going to my father's home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can be seated here on earth. If you're a citizen of heaven, the earth can make you tired. This world can bring difficulty on you. But sit and knowing that you are waiting for one day, I'm heading to my father. Then my Lord is waiting for me. My Lord sees me. Out. He oversees me. My Lord will help me. My Lord will, will survive me. My Lord is alive. Hallelujah. Reason why many believers the reason why many Christians they move anyhow they want they have just come back from here on the cross I don't know why Christians don't know that Christianity does not limit from the cross only on the cross here on the cross here on this cross it's where we leave all our sins. But beyond the cross, we stand the new journey. The journey of the sanctified people. We stand a new journey. Of those who are written in the living God, we stand the journey of the citizens of the kingdom of heaven. The reason why Jesus Christ said, examine yourself. He's the door. He's the gate. Or he said, I'm the gate when you enter into Christ it is not just a gate you can enter into that gate when you go beyond that gate you found pasture hallelujah hallelujah many people came back from here on the gate because when you get to the pastor of Christ doing deeds or action it's something you can do it cheerfully you can do it cheerfully. praying you can pray cheerfully let me tell you I don't know if you are getting me you understand but if you understand these things life can be sweet the president of this Kenya is William Ruto yeah, once he comes and he looked at you and he says even, even if you are foreign and stranger in this country but I have loved you nothing I will miss to give you if you get a problem just have, take your phone this is my number 
You can't never, it, this phone can never be taken by a, a secretary. Hello, Excellency President. Uh, hello, Excellency. The president. I've met with an issue or a problem. I want you just to intervene. If you have such kind of ability, nothing you can miss to do to that person. Once he asks you just to follow the laws of this country. Thereafter, wherever you will face any issue, just call me. That is how Jesus Christ did. After being resurrected, he said, I am with you up to the end of the hour. Hallelujah. Call upon me, I will come unto you. But we are seated. Then we say we have the Lord who has redeemed us. Then you come back just from the cross. Uh, you have put your sins down. But you walk and you miss to remember that your Lord is alive. There are some of the Christians who have Jesus, who have Jesus of Friday being crucified on the cross carrying away our sins but for me I love Jesus who is risen on Monday I walk with him do you know do you know the result that I got from there it sustained me from sinning sometimes I ask Christians you take your step to go. You make your step to go. And you make a step to go and fornicate, do fornication. And yet you are together with the Lord who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. These young people, they don't, they don't know Jesus. There are some kind of teachings I have heard that are gracious. Or those who are in an amazing grace. Those who are in amazing grace uh, that they can commit sins because they were forgiven. I know because I have spoken in a wrong way about sinning nobody can stand here. But let me ask anyone who is a gracious person. Apart from even Jesus Christ who is the child of God, even your father. Once he forbid you not to go into teams or groups, groups of people can you be confident to commit a sin when your father is seeing you? Is there anybody to answer me? Because most of those kind of teachings are not in the elderly people. Reason why I'm focusing on the youth. They are the gracious people. They have been forgiven. They have been justified. They can commit sin anyhow. Because it has been forgiven. You have never known about your Lord. Do you don't know Jesus Christ who, who commits sin? Because he said, I hate sin. Even if he loves you, he does not love fornication or all kinds of sins. Where do you put the eyes of the Lord when you go and commit sins? Hello. Hello. Our gracious. The gracious people. Then a person said, I don't mind about committing sins. I do. God forgives his sins, yes. But he also he looks at you, the one he can see or can oversee you. Even if you can allow me to commit sin and say you never uh, undergo the consequences, what does, what does not allow me to commit sin? The eyes of the living God. The one who is just uh, staring at me. Simple. Simple as that. 
I just like that. The eyes of God which is staring at you can forbid you to commit a sin. The second word. After knowing the living God or living Jesus, it can please you to do or acting. If you have your Lord in you, then you touch in your pocket. Then you remove just a note of money. Then you look at it. And you say, even these notes, uh, this Lord is the one, is the one who gave it to me. Then you take it. Then you say, Lord, I thank you for giving me these shillings. Now, this note, I'm giving it back to you as, as a thanksgiving. It can be good to you, sweet. For me, I speak it and I do it. When I take my tithe, then I remember 90% of the tithe, I have it. I thank God. There's some people been making conversation with them. They say the pastor. Will you be continue to give tithe into your retirement? And yet you have given tithe on in your salary, monthly salary. Then I told them what will make me to give even tithe on my pension salary. It is because my Lord will continue to feed my family even in my pension. My the reason why I give tithe and offering is because of the Lord who survived me and each every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you could even do your work easily. Let me continue with the example with the president. That president has become your friend. Then one day you want maybe to work on his farm. Then he said, I want to go and cut down the trees in my farm. Can you just come and help me? How many can refuse to go and help the president just to do the work in his compound? Hello? Who can uh, miss to go and help the president? Then another person can say, We want to put a pavement in this church. We want to build for my Lord, our Lord. Then they said, Why are they bringing this kind of uh, Do you miss to know that you are refugees? But let me tell you something which is very great. There's a time Moses built a temple of meeting. Then the Lord Jesus Christ said, Go and tell people, I want them to build a tabernacle so that I can come and dwell in them. People gave their money up to the level they requested Moses to tell them to stop from giving. Why? There were even refugees on the way going to Canaan. They were remembering that every and each every day God gives them one man. But they used to say, let us give whatever we have, God will provide. Working or serving God. This kind of deeds that we are speaking. Uh, the faith that have action or deeds. I'm, I'm winding up. The first one. Just leaving our identity. Knowing that this Lord who has redeemed me. 
He made me to become a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Then he made his promise that will come and be with me. And he gave me the promise that I will never mama whatever I am whatever I need, let it be known by him. Let, let me pray, petitioning, thanking God. That is who we are. Our deeds, they comes out of our faith from knowing who we are from knowing our Lord. But mostly from knowing what he is expecting us. I love how they say in the book of Revelation, they will reign with Jesus Christ. We shall live, we shall reign in the same kingdom. But yet when we are still here on earth, we just taste on his goodness. Then we shall see his kingdom and reigning with him in heaven. After feeling and living, after being aware of them, serving God becomes easy. Because the first one, you know that I will give from what God gave me. And my body, is the one who gave it to me. Even my brain is the one who gave it to me. I remember when I was pastor. I was, uh, a head, I was the head of a big family. The leader. Family, organization. organization, yes. I was being paid good money. I was having a very big car of Prado that I was driving. Then Jesus Christ said to me, Go and be a pastor. <sighs> but because I promised him that I will obey him, I went into pastoral work. Then one person asked me a question. He asked me, Somebody who is wise enough like you. How can you uh, make understand yourself to join the pastoral team? You take your wisdom and the knowledge that you have, you spoil it. Then I told him that for me, I'm not wise, God. When I was born, I found my head, I have it. Then God preserve it. Last time my mom spoke a word, then people cried. Uh, when I was born, I was those young babies that are small, thin. Like I was born crying. I did not stop crying. The baby cried. When I start crying, the baby cried. Then the people said that this child will never pass two days without dying. Then the people who are passing by, they ask, is not yet dying? Is not dead? The second day I was not dead. Even the third day I did not pass away. Even the fourth day I was not passing. No, I didn't pass even the fifth one. No, even the sixth one. No, even the seventh one. No, Up to the eighth one. Then they ate. They said they have to win me. They have to name me. Giving me a name. To meet Can we name him? Just, okay. Name him. Give a name to him. Then my father held me, crying. I was crying, crying. He called me Rutaisir. Rutaisir which means the death, death did not. If uh, death doesn't take him, take him away. Up to now, 66 years, death has never taken me away. I've never, I have never passed away. No, no. 
uifate waravutse wavuga ngo uranogoka ku munsi wa kabiri ubu ndeba ngo being born and people expecting for you to die expecting to die iyo yesu adafunga umuhanda w'urupfu if god could not even stop or close the way of death yero iyo mukorera nuko nzi aho yanku when i serve him i know where i can buri muntu wese utangiye gusobanukirwa ibyo ngivyo any person who starts uh, meditating about where god took him je nshobora kuba buri kantu kose kubuzima bwanje gafite mu buhamya butuma shima imana i can give you an each every details of my testimony of my life when we went to do an exam, a national exam, when we were concluding primary school, there is uh, just a girl that was together in the class. When I could be distracted, it would be number one ahead of me. But uh, it was not several times. I used to be the first one in the class or the second. When we did a national examination of the wow, he was bewitched and he was dead. He the same day we did an exam, national exam, it's when he passed away. We went for an exam when they were burying her. Why wasn't me that has been bewitched? The hand of God. The hand Chintin. of God was upon me. In Rwanda, in 1994, genocide uh, occurred. Interahamwe killed people up to where I was. Then God scared them. They started now making their discussion arguing. They made an argument saying here. These people of Mutara. They have guns. I don't know even how the firearm looks like. They said let us just throw a grenade so that they can go out. When they were just making their argument. Then I had just and a firearm. It wasn't coming out of my home. Just two soldiers of Inkotanyi, they came and they shoot. Then I was escaped. Why didn't I die that day? Because I was paid for me to be here today. But for you who are seated here, is there no one who has such kind of a story or no, testimony? Such kind of good, good news? Let's serve God because it has been good to us. Serving God does not bring salvation to you. But we serve God because we have been saved. And we serve God because we are grateful for him. Because God who protected us in such kind of difficult times, up to now he continued to preserve you. He will continue to preserve you and we shall serve him may God bless you so much thank you God wait 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 pastor wait I want and each everyone everyone just go back and meditate of yourself have you ever been born again? Have you ever been entered into the kingdom of God? Because if you are a citizen of heaven, serving God will be an action which is very easy for you. But if you, are just, you have just come to take a few from us, it can never be tasty for you. You will be like the old. The bad. That bad. But today. Today. This is the day. The right day. This is the right day. Of taking an action. Of walking with God. 
Do what he wants. Do what pleases him. So that one day, that day, when they'll be calling upon the names of the saints, so that your words will never miss out. Something which is most important. The one who does never take an action of knowing God as the Redeemer. Of revelation, the Bible says. Then the scroll was open, which is the scroll of, of, of living light. And the one who is not written that scroll, he will be thrown into the lake of fire. And then the other books were open. Then and each everyone was paid according to his deeds. The, the, the book of life testifies that we are the children of God. But the book of action of deeds can, can, they can pay you on the account of what how you have done. Let me ask you this question. Examine yourself if you are in the, the book of life. Then if you can have less deeds, but at least you are in the book of life. And what, whatever I know is this. If you are, your name is written in the book of life, the deeds are very easy. You can serve God cheerfully. Because you know what God did for you. Because you have what God did inside you. Today, just take an action. Let's pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ. We are here before you. You know us. You know and each everyone who is here. Many times you spoke to the church that I know your deeds. Speak with everyone in us because you know our deeds. Touch our hearts so that we can, we can be able to do what pleases you. Write our name in the book of life. Those that you know that are, they are not in the book of life. Speak to them in a special way. They are after. Give us the zeal to serve you. Let your name be honored. Let your people be blessed. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen.